the Galaxy S26 Ultra is already turning into one of the most talked about phones of next year, and the leaks we're seeing suggest Samsung is quietly working on some of the boldest changes we've had in years. Instead of another safe, recycled update, the S26 Ultra might finally shake things up in ways that actually matter, not just in design, but in cameras, in privacy, and even in the way Samsung names its flagship lineup. Welcome back, viewers, Sam here. If you enjoy these deep dives, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting tech updates because today's news is going to get you thinking about the future of smartphones very differently. Let's start with the cameras because that's where things really heat up. For the past few years, Samsung has stuck with its minimalist floating camera rings on the Ultra, but leaks now point to a complete reversal of that design. Yes, the camera island could be making a comeback, something we last saw on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. At first, it sounds like a step backwards, but the reasoning behind this move is fascinating. Samsung is planning to use much larger camera sensors this time, and bigger sensors need more physical space. Now here's the kicker, the S26 Ultra is rumored to be slimmer than ever. So how do you fit larger sensors into a thinner phone? The answer is the camera island. It's not just nostalgia, it's a practical engineering solution that keeps the phone sleek without compromising on hardware. And these sensors aren't small upgrades either. The main 200 megapixel HP2 sensor that's been around since the S23 Ultra is reportedly sticking around, but with a huge twist, a wider f1.4 aperture. That means more light intake, sharper details, and a real chance to close the gap with rivals like Xiaomi and Vivo that are flexing massive one inch sensors. Low light photography could see one of the biggest jumps Samsung has made in years, and it doesn't stop there. The 3X telephoto lens, which has been stuck at 10 megapixels, might finally leap to 50 megapixels. Imagine how much cleaner zoom shots will look, less noise, more detail, and sharper images even at mid-range zoom. The ultra-wide and 5X telephoto may not change much in hardware, but paired with computational AI upgrades, they'll still feel improved in daily use. So, the return of the camera island isn't just about looks. It's a design sacrifice for a real performance boost. And if the leaks are right, this could be the biggest single year jump for Samsung's ultra camera system in a long time. But here's the twist. Cameras aren't even the most surprising upgrade on this phone because tucked away in Samsung Displays Labs is something that could redefine what we think a smartphone screen can do. It's called Flex Magic Pixel Technology, and this one's all about privacy. Instead of a stick on screen protector or third party accessory, Samsung is baking privacy right into the OLED display itself, powered by AI. Here's how it works the display can automatically adjust its viewing angle in real time. Open a banking app on a crowded bus. The phone instantly narrows the angle so only you can see it clearly, while anyone peeking from the side sees nothing but blur. Close the app and go back to YouTube. The screen opens back up with full brightness and sharpness. No filters, no dimming, no trade-offs. Privacy built directly into the hardware. And this isn't just a cool idea, it's already real. Samsung showed off early versions at Mobile World Congress and again at K Display 2025. And now reports from Korea say the technology has officially entered mass production. That means it's ready. The timing lines up perfectly for a debut on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. And if it happens, Samsung could market this as one of the biggest privacy breakthroughs we've seen in smartphones in years. Think about it. Phones have been chasing better cameras, brighter displays, slimmer bezels, and faster processors for over a decade. But almost nobody has done real hardware innovation around privacy. If Samsung nails this, the S26 Ultra might be remembered as the first flagship that made privacy a selling point. And it doesn't stop with just the Ultra. Because once Flex Magic Pixel is in mass production, it's only a matter of time before it trickles down into other Samsung devices. Picture the Z Fold 6 or Z Flip 6 in 2026 with the same privacy first display. Suddenly using a foldable in public, on a train, in an airport, wherever feels totally safe, no prying eyes. That's a powerful selling point that could completely change the way people see Samsung's ecosystem. Now about the design. Beyond the return of the camera island, leaks also suggest Samsung might finally soften up the sharp, boxy edges of the Ultra. Rounder corners could give the phone a sleeker, more modern feel. Combine that with the slimmer body and the new privacy display, and the S26 Ultra could easily stand out as one of the most futuristic smartphones Samsung has ever produced. 
not just another Ultra that looks like last year's model. Finally, some real change. But there's another curveball. Samsung might be refreshing its entire flagship lineup's naming strategy. Instead of the usual base, plus, and ultra, reports suggest the entry-level flagship could be renamed the Galaxy S26 Pro, the mid-tier model the Galaxy S26 Air, and the ultra would remain the ultra. If true, it shows Samsung is ready to shake things up beyond just hardware, giving the lineup names that feel fresher and more premium. All of this together, the bigger sensors, the return of the camera island, the AI-powered privacy display, the refined design, and even the naming shake up, makes the Galaxy S26 Ultra sound like one of the most ambitious Ultras we've seen in years. And it's not just Samsung chasing specs, it's about solving real problems. Better cameras for better photos, smarter displays for better privacy, and design tweaks that make the phone both slimmer and more comfortable to use. Of course, leaks don't always translate to reality. It's possible Samsung delays Flex Magic Pixel or holds back some of the camera upgrades for future models. But if even half of these rumors turn out true, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could easily be remembered as the device that broke Samsung out of the cycle of safe, predictable yearly updates. So now the big question, do you prefer the bold return of the camera island with these upgrades, or do you still love the minimalist floating rings design? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because this is one of those design choices that's going to split opinions.